Greetings everyone, and welcome, I'm Ben James, your host today. We are looking at the story of the Tower of Babel today. This is an interesting landmark in history. Only because after this event took place, marks the beginning of all the different languages on Earth. Up to this time, there was only one language on Earth. Let's get to our guys to see what's new about this story. Hi everyone, we got a good one for you guys today. I thought this would be a great place to do our first segment. Hi, you're so right, Mark. This one should have been put into the weird series. Yes, but it wasn't, so that we could do this. Ha, you're so right. Okay, so let's look at this story. This group of people found a remote place to want to build a great city. And these people decided that they wanted to be famous by building a tower that reached to the heavens to get to God. Today we look at this and can say, that's ridiculous, because no way that could ever happen. But Mark, back in those days, they had no clue as to how silly that really was to attempt. This shows me that we cannot outwit God. He is the ruler and the creator of everything. He sure is. These people miss the whole reason for God. It's not for us to be equal with God. He is supreme and we are his people, servants as we live for God. Jim, I have a treat for the second part of this today. I'm not going to tell you as of yet, but I do want it to be a surprise. See you guys. You know, it never ceases to amaze me about the vastness of God and His power and might. We can look on this and think how crazy these guys were back in that day. To think that they could build a tower to get to God. This just shows us how little mankind understands who and what God really is all about. Let's get back to our guys today. Welcome to the next segment, everyone. Well, we're back. Mark, think about the ridiculous effort to really try to reach God. I know, yet I have to give these guys an A for effort, although they were way off. The builder's purpose was to make a name for themselves by creating a city with a tower that would reach the heavens and to protect themselves from another flood. Because the people of that day were afraid that God would send another flood to destroy everyone. Simply, they didn't trust God. Years after the flood came, the people got back to sinning and not following God. Hey Mark, not to change the subject, but what's the surprise? Okay, are you ready? I want to introduce to you our new gal by the name of Linda. Everyone welcome Linda to our set today. Wow, really? Hi guys and all of you in our audience. It's great to be here with you. Great to have you here with us, Linda. Yes, great to have you join us. Guys, if you will let me, I want to wrap up our time today. Go for it! Simply put, God wants us to follow his lead in our life. If we really want to get with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, then we need to accept him into our life. Then we need to pray, read the word of God, and get into fellowship, where we can grow in the Lord. Well said, Linda. Yes, indeed, well said. I'm so excited that we now have another partner joining in with these guys. Linda will be a great addition to the team. So, remember if you want to get to know God, start by following Him and doing what Linda said. We will be back next week with another great Bible story.